hello welcome back to my channel my name is Mariel and today I'm going to try to take some trendy items from the 2010s so 2010 to around 2017 ish and try to make cute outfits out of them that would look cute today in 2021 and I got this idea from multiple TikToks that I've seen, as well as a video from Steal the Spotlight. She did a video on this, and I thought it was a really fun idea, and I thought it would fit perfectly into my channel because I'm always talking about how to make outfits from things you already own. So hopefully I can come up with some good outfits, and if you do enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, and comment down below how you would style these outfits, and follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief for more outfit inspiration, and let's get started. First off, I'm styling this anorak jacket, I think is what they're called, although that kind of sounds like an antidepressant or like utility jacket. And usually they are in like an army green color, but I don't have one that color, so instead I have my burgundy one. And I feel like back in 2015 or you know around that time, people would wear it with like skinny jeans and whatever top. Um, and I think that look still works, but I feel like skinny jeans are out now and baggy jeans are more in So instead of styling it with skinny jeans, I wore it with these super baggy jeans A plain white crop top and some white Converse sneakers and then threw this on over it And then I tried to loosen this up so it's my waist isn't cinched in and try to make it look more like a shacket Which I feel like those are really trendy right now So this is the look Next, I wanted to style the teddy bear jacket, which is a trend that I'm so sad left because they're so comfy and cozy, and I love soft fur jackets. So I've been holding on to mine in hopes that it would come back soon, and hopefully with these outfits, maybe it will. So for this first outfit, I'm wearing a beige turtleneck tucked into this light beige pinkish skirt, pleated skirt, which I feel like pleated skirts are also really popular right now, so it can be easier to bring into your wardrobe. And then I layered over this mesh lingerie dress over it. And then to tie in the black, I have on my black platform combat boots. I really wanted to wear a chunky shoe because I feel like chunky shoes are also really in, especially those with like Bratz vibes. I don't think these have a Bratz doll vibe, but they are still pretty chunky and have a bit of a heel. So I think it helps pull the outfit together and make it more trendy. If you're not a fan of the whole dress over the skirt thing, then I think it also looks good if you tuck it into the skirt and make it look like you're layering a top over the turtleneck instead. So it's a little less out there, a little more casual and easier to pull off. For another teddy bear jacket look, I wore it with my white crop top again and then some leather pants and again my platform combat boots, which I feel like they're really trendy right now. Uh, I don't know if it's just me seeing them a lot, but I feel like I see a lot of people wear them and they're really cute, so. And then I feel like leather pants also are really trendy right now, especially in a straight leg cut. Um, these have a little bit of a flare to them, but I think they still work. And I feel like suede jackets are the thing now, like something like this, this kind of jacket. Um, with a kind of suede material, but the color is still similar to these teddy bear jackets So I feel like any outfit that you see with a suede jacket could be replaced with a teddy bear jacket instead and that could look cute as well Uh, skinny jeans the item of clothing every Gen Z kid loves to hate on millennials for. Personally, I don't really like skinny jeans because they feel so restrictive to me, so I love wearing baggier or wide leg or straight leg jeans, and I feel like they just make me look even more unhealthily skinny than I already am. So I had to pull these out of my pile of clothes to donate, but I wouldn't hate on someone for wearing skinny jeans because it looks really good on some people, and I feel like jeans isn't something that should be trendy, if you know what I mean. Like, they should always have all styles of jeans available, and you should just wear what makes you feel confident and comfortable. So that's my take on jean styles and cuts. But anyways, back to the outfits. For skinny jeans, I feel like you can wear them with any like classic 
outfit. For example, I'm going to wear it with a turtleneck and blazer, which I feel like is a timeless outfit and will always be in style. And to make it a little bit more trendier, I picked this light green color blazer, which of course is very trendy right now, sage green or whatever. And I feel like the oversized look on top kind of contrasts the bottom skinniness of it. Next, I wanted to go for an edgier skinny jeans look. So I have on my platform combat boots again, which uh, I do think are trendy, but correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I'm just super behind on trends. And then I have on this oversized flannel, which I think flannels are also considered out of style, which is news to me because I think flannels are like a staple, a classic that never goes out of style. So I'm just gonna wear it anyway. And then I layered on this harness over it just to add a little bit more hardware and edge to the outfit. So again, we're going for a more oversized look on top to contrast the skinniness on the bottom. The next item is a bomber jacket, and I feel like I always saw bomber jackets styled with jeans and a shirt, but I remember the first time I saw an outfit where I was like, I want to get a bomber jacket, it was styled with a long, pretty dress, and I still think that was a really cute outfit, so I tried to recreate it here. So I paired this bomber jacket with my burgundy red dress, and then I wore my platform combat boots again, I feel like they just go with pretty much everything, and my little mini tote purse. So I think it's a very casual look and kind of different from how people usually styled it in the 2010s. Next is over the knee boots. I feel like in 2016 these were super popular with mini skirts and dresses or an oversized sweatshirt worn as a dress a la Ariana Grande. But I actually like the look of them peeking out from a longer dress as well. So here I have an outfit that I'm pretty sure I wore in the last video. Um, I have this long zebra print dress layered over a white turtleneck and have my green blazer over it again. And yeah, I just think they're cute peeking out from under a long dress and it gives you an added layer over your legs for those really cold days. Now I've scrunched up my long dress into a mini dress and I want to show you how you can wear it with a mini skirt or mini dress instead and I mean I still feel like they look cute over the knee. I still like the look of over the knee boots even if they aren't trendy. But another way you can make it look trendier is to scrunch them down. Scrunch them down into slouchier boots and then I stop just at the knee for a flattering look and I feel like knee length or calf height boots are more trendy right now and I feel like the slouchiness and the length of the boots gives it more of a Y2K vibe which of course is the thing right now and the slouchiness are also kind of reminiscent of leg warmers which is really trendy right now as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like and comment if you did. And follow me on Instagram at TheDressRelief and on TikTok at DressRelief. And I'll see you guys the next time.